Stucco and stick-on-stone failures are happening throughout North America. Changes in construction, which occurred in the late 1990s, have led to facades that do not let moisture escape as easily and do not have adequate drying capabilities. In the late 90s, our homes and structures became much tighter. More insulation, increased windows, insulated glass, all with central air conditioning. More energy efficient, but not as breathable. The problems are discovered when moisture intrusion is detected. A home inspector finds that there is moisture inside the walls. If damage is found, repair needs to be done, and often a full tear-off. What cost 6 to $12 a square foot to install new can now cost 40 to $45 a square foot to tear off and replace. This can include the facade, replacing the sheathing, and possibly the studs, all on homes that are 5 to 9 years old. Note the mold that is evident on the gable end of this wall once the stucco is removed. Stucco is not the only one having problems. Stick on stone is the same application over lath. As you can see on this home, the stucco has been removed on the lath and bad sheathing replaced. The stone looks good on the other side, right? Let's look closer over towards the corner where we have removed part of the stone. Around the window, we see that the sheathing behind the lath has rotted away and the moisture has actually worked its way back into the studs and caused them to rot. Moisture problems festering over the years undetected. Let's look at one of the reasons this happens. Here is a wall with a layer of wood resistant building paper ready to have lath placed over top of it. Metal lath is then installed over top of the paper. As you can see here, when a first coat of mortar is applied to the lath, it actually goes through the lath and attaches to the building paper, eliminating any drainage plane and eventually destroying the building paper, which is our wood resistant barrier between the mortar and sheathing. The sheathing begins to absorb moisture, day to day, year to year, slowly deteriorating, undetected. Moisture has nowhere to drain and there is not enough airflow to dry the wall adequately. Let's look at one of the solutions that should be incorporated in new construction just as it is being done on this tear-off project. Here is a first layer of a Tyvek water resistant barrier. In this case, a second layer of grade D building paper is being applied to ensure a larger degree of moisture protection. Keen Drywall Rain Screen 020-1 is then applied with filter fabric facing out. This material is a recycled plastic grid attached to fabric which creates a quarter inch cavity. The rain screen here on the wall has the filter fabric facing out. The lath will then be placed over top of the fabric. The fabric is covering the plastic grid which stops the mortar from pressing into the cavity. With Keen Rain Screen, we are ensured the mortar will not come in contact with our water resistant building paper. Now, when our stucco or mortar is applied, we have a continuous cavity around our entire facade, allowing the water resistant building paper to do its job and giving our wall system a true drainage plane and opportunity for air to flow and dry out the wall. This new home with stick on stone was rain screen, giving the homeowner peace of mind and allowing the home builder to sleep at night, knowing that there will not be problems five years down the road. This moldy family retirement village was also a rain screen for the same reason. Our architect also wants peace of mind and wants to give their client a wall that will reach its full life cycle. For architectural specifications, for samples, and more information, contact us at SL. 405 at AOL.com. For installation of Keen 020-1 rain screen, go to www.mas-con.com.